Uh, well, uh, yesterday there was an all member focus of the house to discuss the the merits of the proposed uh, gas-based budgeting, which I call as a budgetary realistic. And uh, it was a virtual, unanimous uh, decision of the House to defer, for the time being, the implementation of the gas-based budgeting, which has resulted to the inordinate cuts in many departments, including the principal departments like the DPWH, the Department of Health, and the Department of Education. Uh, the, so you made a vote yesterday? Well, uh, there was uh, uh, a complete consensus and uh, there was a manifesto circulated for the signature of members of the House, both from the majority and the minority, uh, with respect to that consensus of uh, uh, holding in abeyance the proposed cash-based budgeting. What were lawmakers' main concerns over the cash-based budgeting system? And well, how would it hurt the agencies? Well, uh, in the first place, uh, there has to be an enabling law which should uh, uh, make a reform on the budget system. That uh, budget reform law, although approved by the House, is still pending with the Senate. And I would like to make it a record that the Magnificent Seven and the Makamayan Black uh, vigorously oppose the passage of that Reform Act, which we viewed to be a derogation of the power of the House over the parts. And true enough, this happened because the caste-based uh, budgeting uh, proposed by DBM is a derogation of the power of the House because effectively the authorization of the Congress to fund and implement projects will be obliterated after the end of the year or during the three-month period extension when the project is not completed because of many reasons, many valid reasons, like for example, the inclement weather, the right of way problems, uh, the, re the delayed release of the funds, etc., etc. So these are very serious concerns because this is a fundamental uh, issue with respect to the power of the House, including the Senate, to appropriate public funds. Sir, what would be the effect, sir, if you defer the 2019 cash-based budget? There, there would be no effect because uh, it could still be delineated as cash-based budgeting, but the Department of Budget Management should increase the ceiling so that uh, we could uh, introduce the necessary amendments to the proposed uh, budget. Otherwise, if the ceiling is not increased, then we, are, we will be constrained uh, in our power to uh, appropriate more because the Constitution says we should not exceed the total amount of the budget presented to the President. So essentially you're asking for more money from the EPF? Yes, because uh, th there were very drastic in inordinately huge cuts. In principal department. Sir, how would you address your kasi parang syempre may mga trust issues when it comes to the public and Congress and money um, in sa, uh, especially with all these fears about pork barrel? Well, there is exactly, that pork barrel has been uh, excised from the national budget. There are no more pork barrel allocations there in the budget.
market. And we assure you, we assure the public that are no profit balance. Pero sir, meron bang dun sa cuts na yun, minapektuhan bang supposedly projects ng congressmen na nawala? Or projects, ba supposedly sir, naka-line item naman na, may mga natanggal pa doon? Well, uh, because of the reduction of the budget in uh, the DPWH, okay. DepEd, and uh, uh, DOH, definitely there will be projects uh, for uh, local uh, implementation as well as national implementation which would be affected. We will have to go to the nitty gritty of the submission to the Department of Public Management to really ferret out what projects have been definitely affected. So, hindi naman kayo makauwi sa re-enacted budget kasi kung alam mo, magmas, magmatigas si BBM at insist yung gusto niya tapos syempre the House will also insist its own position hindi, ka, hindi kaya magkaroon ng impasa magkaroon ng re-enacted budget. That is a great possibility. It is a great, great possibility. Great, great possibility if there is an impasse because uh, uh, the, the BM will be intransigent in its proposal of a cash-based budgeting, then uh, there could be a re-enacted budget. But in a re-enacted budget, the executive can do more. Well, I can do more, but uh, the re-enacted budget would be better than the present proposed budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But one of, one of the problems is the no absorption rate. Yeah, they are saying that they will only fund what they can spend when, or when they can uh, implement. When uh, DBM, uh, through Secretary Jokno, appeared before the House, he announced that uh, for the first six months of the year, the absorptive capacity of agencies, including DPWS, has vastly improved. And that he also said that he has approved the employment of more DPW personnel. So we find no justification for that inordinate reduction of 23 billion pesos, both in capital outlay and MOE, with respect to the submitted budget of DPW. Sir, we recorded a low GDP rate for this quarter, 6%. Lowest in the three years of the Duterte administration. Sir, how do you think the lower budget for next year will affect the GDP? It, it might exacerbate the low rating. So we can expect a lower GDP if ever we push through with this budget? Yes, because there will be less expenditures because of the so called uh, uh, gas based budgeting.